I don't think this combiner cares whether it's UHF or VHF. I don't think it cares. It's just stopping the signal from going back into one another. Now, now does that tell you anything right there? D do you know what I'm talking about, about making double and triple and all around antennas? Uh, antennas in a circle, quad antennas. I come back out here to tell y'all, I've done made this video, y'all, and I come back out here so I can add this to the front. The hardest part for me about making a video is starting out, and this video right here starts out kind of slow. But I tell stuff that most people has never even thought about on this video. So bear with me. Don't let the slow talking fool. The reason I talk the way I do is because I am thinking just that hard that that I want to say everything exactly right. Okay, here's the video, y'all. Hello, everybody. It's Danny S. Hodges. I got a few things I want to talk to y'all about and show y'all a few things and give you a few ideas. I want you to bear with me. I'm going to try to I'm going to try to talk without just talking off the cuff and tell you some real good stuff. And I'm not necessarily doing the the uh, the best things first. I, I'm a slow thinker, but I'm a hellacious thinker, though. That was a talk off the cuff, see? Okay, here's my TV that I got out here under the shelter. That, uh, that's a, also a smart TV. If you hadn't got the internet, you, there's never no reason to get a smart TV if you hadn't got the internet. So, they, it's cheaper anyway. But I, let me show you this. I'll try to zoom in here. I'll show you the antenna that I got up there. Now, boys, that's one of the first ones I made. That's a double antenna. You know what kind of booster it's got on it? It's got that RCA booster that I was talking about. And see, on that double antenna like that, that what I got is, it's a little, that's a little ultimate antenna is what it is. But one side is on the UHF and one side is on the VHF. So that winds up working out pretty good. I'm going to tell you all some stuff that you ain't going to believe. This, this antenna stuff man it can get deep i'm talking about way in there oh uh, I, I i know you probably think that i sit around and try to think of antennas to make i don't they just pop in my head you know like I, I, let's just say i'll be fishing and this thought just comes into my head and like whenever i like sit down and start really thinking about it then thoughts like start coming to me like like lightning flashes and I, I have to kind of stop and my wife knows about this but I, I sometimes I just have to stop okay enough of that but but I swear that's true y'all know that combiner let me see where it is y'all know this combiner that I uh showed y'all the other day this thing right here this makes antenna making and doing endless this thing right here let me tell you why so you'll know what I'm talking about you know when you view when your VHF is coming in and UHF is coming in, and and uh when they when they when they when the signals ain't coming in right they'll mess up and one will hurt the other but what this thing does is it keeps this VHF from going over there into the UHF and it keeps the UHF from uh, coming over here in the VHF and man I started reading about it and I mean it you know it's it's hard to read like you go to the butcher you say man I don't want to stick my head up the cow has to get a steak just give me a good steak you know what I mean I just quit reading I know all I need to know but this thing right here man it it 
it's going to make stuff happen. And what I'm talking about is like, like double antennas, quad antennas. The antennas I'm making, y'all, I'm making the best antenna that you can get. I ain't talking about buying. I'm talking about I'm making the best antenna that you can own. Now, I ain't sitting here trying to tell you I know more than them. But what I am saying is they got to build theirs, you know, like where they can ship it and all that. And the price be low. But you can sit there and make your own antenna. And it don't matter if it takes you two days or three days or a week. But you can make a better antenna than anybody in the world's got. And, and I know how to do it. I promise you, I know how to do it. And let me slow down. Do y'all remember whenever I was telling y'all about that antenna right there? that I figured out how to upgrade it. Well, that ain't all I figured out about it. I, I figured out how to lean that antenna more more toward VHF or lean it toward, more toward UHF. You know, I, I'm, I got the, you know, I'm putting this on my big channel, but most of the videos, most of the antenna videos I'm going to be making, I'm going to be putting on that Southern Ideas. And I hadn't got a very big audience on there. But y'all, when, when I get some subscribers on there, I think I got about 350 or something like that. But when that gets built up, I'm going to turn loose. I'm telling you, I'm going to cut everything out. I'm going to show y'all some serious stuff soon. You see this antenna right here? That's a coat hanger antenna. And what I had done is there's an antenna. I built an antenna like somebody else had on the internet. And I was showing I was showing what I what the video was about is I was showing the coat hanger ain't as good as the copper. And I'm especially gonna show you this. You see how it is brown, it looks like copper. It's rusty. This right here won't work, y'all. It will for a little while. It's actually doing pretty good. It surprised me. The ultimate antenna beat it. But I made a replica of a, of one that somebody made. This man done got over 300 million, uh, 3 million views. And that was a year ago. No telling how many it's got now. But that's what I was doing. And I actually got a demonstration of this versus the ultimate antenna on, on this channel. You see this big old antenna? I took this antenna down. You know what I put up in the spot? The ultimate antenna. Boys, these antenna companies, I swear to you, they ain't got nothing on me. Nothing. I know that I'm kind of jumping around but that's kind of how thoughts come in my head and I have to sort of sort them out. And sometimes it takes days and, and I can't sit here and think about it. I just have to let it, let my brain take its course, you know. But like them side-by-side -side antennas, you know, I figured out how to multiply that signal. Uh, you can see that on that 100-mile shootout. And really, y'all, I, I, ain't, I ain't just sitting here advertising my videos. I'm just telling you, because some people say, hey, I'd like to see that. That's what I'm doing. I am kind of advertising that Southern Ideas. I'm going to show you it here. Okay, see how I'm getting off again? All right. I figured out how to multiply the signal strength. Multiply. That's pretty big deal and the way I figure it is is you can multiply it just as much as you want to multiply it you know the manufacturers they ain't gonna make an antenna like what I'm talking about and y'all know I got a, 
a patent on, you know, getting a patent on an antenna. And I'm about tired of waiting on that. But, let me figure out where I was at. Yeah, the antenna companies, like I say, they, they, I'm sure they know what I know. You know, I'm just an old country boy, you know. But, <clears throat> I got a good head on my shoulders. But they can't make like a, that kind of an antenna and, uh, and, and, and sell it. I mean, hell, a thing costs $400. And the, the shipping, like for me, just shipping these ultimate antennas, they $120 just shipping. That ain't counting no box, and that ain't counting the antenna. That's just to ship it. That's the reason I don't ship. I went blank, y'all. Let me look at my notes. All right, that didn't take but a second. Um, a man the other day asked me a question on the comments. He said, why? He said, why should I make? This antenna right here with the, uh, you know, with the UHF. He said, I'm getting all the channels. Well, hell, he don't need it, you know. But, but you might be to where you are. Now, that, that ultimate antenna, it does pick up VHF and UHF. And it does it pretty good. But I, I will guarantee you, that that, with that, uh, I ain't never tried it. But I bet you this antenna, like this, with that, will outdo the ultimate antenna because this is focused, this right here is focused on UHF alone. And that's focused on VHF alone. All right, let me look at my next question here. Okay, I hadn't tested this antenna right here yet. But, well, I, I made one of these and made sure it would pick up, and, and it did. I done actually got a video of it, but I didn't know. Uh, you know, I just excluded it because it... Anyway, I'm going to be doing a test on this. And the reason I hadn't done done it was because I don't know what to call that antenna. I don't know what to name the video. On YouTube, you don't just make the video and you already have the name made. You already have the name of your video before you make it. This is gonna be something like 101 something or something. I don't I don't know. You know whenever and I'm gonna make these videos, y'all. But but when I start unleashing them, I don't want to just unleash them to a few hundred people. That video will get forgot about. About this puppy right here. The woman didn't want to sell it, but I made her offer. She couldn't refuse. <laughs> Now, I forgot what I was saying. And, y'all, I, I usually take things to a, le to a different level. It, it really don't hardly matter what it is. I take things to another level. Hey, I'm jumping back to this combiner. And, and what I want to tell you about, I forgot to tell you this. See, I don't think this combiner cares whether it's UHF or VHF. I don't think it cares. It's just stopping the signal from going back into one another. Now, now, does that tell you anything right there? D do you know what I'm talking about about making double and triple and all around antennas, uh, antennas in a circle, quad antennas? Hey, y'all, uh, I know how to do all that. You see this thing right here I invented? You see this rod's on the table? When everybody goes, every once in a while I go to somebody's house, that they really want an antenna bad, you know? Like trees, you know, trees is always the problem. It ain't the location, it's always trees and power lines. But sometimes I had to put the antenna on top of the house. And I put it on top of the house with guide wires by myself. By myself, with that contraption right there I I welded it up and made it I know how to weld and y'all I you know I don't see who's viewing and all that but I can tell when I'm getting a view on a video you know you can do that on YouTube and I see like 
300 people watching this video. And like it'll be, it'll be half the video on this part. And half the, and, and the other half of the video, like a second part on the other channel. And about 150 people will come to that other channel. I don't, I, man, if I seen part one, I would have to see part two. That would, but that's just me. But a lot of people, they look right over there at the right where they being led and click another video. I, you know, <laughs> I can tell y'all some stuff, y'all. I just can't do it. Y'all see that right there? You see that screw down the wood? It won't work, boy. It's got to have an insulator in it like that PVC pipe. I'll show you what something I use. A bunch of people asked me about these mystery pieces. And they got PVC fencing too. I don't know what it's for. You know a man gets me all this stuff, you know what I mean? Well, he give me a bunch of, but I mean, hell, I sell so many antennas, man, that, uh, I had to start buying, but I don't even know what this is. But I can describe it to him, and he'll say, oh, yeah, such and such, I like talking about measurements and stuff. And, uh, but anyway, I like to use this because uh, it's flat up here. You don't have to cut a flat spot on this like the, uh, well, like this, you know, like the pieces I use for the insulator on the PVC. You have to cut a flat spot on these. I'm going to show you this right here. This antenna right here. This right here is a good antenna. You know, some of y'all, some of y'all live a long ways off. And yet, a lot of you need serious antenna. That's, I reckon that's probably why a bunch of us looking anyway. And I noticed that a lot of the ones I put up, they in hard places, you know. Because I actually think like the customer's done tried it. Or somebody's done tried it. And then they hear about me and let me go in there and knock my brains out trying to get them a signal. And I usually can. I usually can. Yeah, and I wanted to show you this right here. That that PVC on that uh, on that antenna there. Let's see what that hybrid. That right there is a good way to, to do it. If you're just making you one antenna, that's a good way to do it. And uh, this right here is that uh, tie wire. It does okay, and, and uh, I don't think it'll rush. And you also can solder this wire right here. It's pretty good, but and I bought a bundle. But man, it's it's kind of expensive. But it is pretty and straight. There's the reflector that I made uh, for y'all. That reflector right there cost twelve dollars. I got a video of that on this channel. Hey y'all, I'm gonna stop the video. It's getting kind of long. I want to show you this right here. You know, you don't know what this right here is in this box. It's a fire stick and Ruku modded together. I bought. I'm gonna be making a video of that. Y'all know where that video is gonna be? It's gonna be on Southern Ideas. And this, and this little bit of stuff right here, I told y'all today. Man, it ain't even it ain't even the scratch on the surface. And I'm when I'm sitting in there like reviewing the video like what I've been doing, I like can think of like five things, five more things I need to say in there while I'm looking at the video. But I mean hell I can't I can't put everything in there. All you can do is subscribe to me and watch. Alright. Uh I'm gonna send you out on a Beatles song on the drums. Y'all have a good one. Yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all, I'm pretty much doing this for y'all. I mean, I ain't joking, man.